These animals here at Cosley are here for the long haul. So most of the animals that we receive here at the zoo come to us usually with injuries from rehabilitation centers or they've been imprinted upon by people, which means um, specifically that they are dependent upon people for their survival, whether it be for food or for medical things. Wiley here, our coyote on exhibit, um, he came to us because he was uh, imprinted upon people from a young age, which means that he really was way too comfortable interacting with them and he depended upon them for food. And what that does is it prevents him from successfully living his life out in the wild. So enrichment is a very important aspect of, of what we do here at Cosley and very important part of my job here as a zookeeper. We use enrichment for a couple of different reasons. We use enrichment for behavioral stimulation which means that we are trying to get them to do natural behaviors that they would do normally in the wild, meaning foraging, um, interacting with stumps or twigs or things like that. We also do uh, sensory uh, enrichment, and that means that we want to have different sounds and different smells and things that would really stimulate their senses. And then we also do environmental enrichment, which might mean we move around some of the furniture that would be normally held, housed in their environment. And each of these elements really helps to kind of challenge and, and motivate the animals in different ways. So enrichment is about getting them to interact and really stimulate their mind and their bodies. And that could be um, utilizing items to encourage their foraging behavior. When we talk about behavioral enrichment, a lot of those items are really challenging them on how do they groom in the wild, how do they find shelter in the wild, how do they actually find food in the wild. And those we want to try to reproduce or mimic here in their captive settings. Ideally, a lot of the things that we work on for training help us with a lot of medical procedures. Specifically with Wiley, at some point we're working on a paw present where he'll voluntarily put a paw through a fence. Uh, we're working on blood draws, vaccine administering. And what that does is anytime we can get an animal comfortable around a vet or comfortable with medical procedures, it reduces the amount of anesthesia that we might have to use with them. So if we can get the vet to come on in and just give a quick vaccine in two seconds flat and make it a positive experience, Wiley, our coyote, is gonna have a much more um, healthy, happy relationship with the vet than if we have to put them under for anesthesia and a medical exam. We wanna make every part of their experience here at Cosley a happy, positive experience if we can.